Welcome to the Electric Wheelchairs USA Mobility Experts channel. Today we're visiting Freeriders corporate headquarters and in today's video we're going to go over the Luggy Elite. It's another foldable scooter within their Luggy line. This one can support up to 320 pounds of weight. It's airline approved and it does come in multiple colors so let's show you a little bit more about it. Now with the Luggy Elite, it's important to note that there are multiple color options to choose from. So you can choose from red, blue, yellow, black, and champagne. Also, this scooter does come standard with armrests. So it's not an add-on option. It comes with them standard. The armrests are also width adjustable. You can see these two little knobs at the bottom of the seat and you just pull the knobs down and that will adjust the armrests and width. And you can even remove the armrest if you didn't want them. In addition to that, the armrests do flip up, which makes it easier to get in and out of the seat. And you can see here the seat back folds down easily. The seat is really well made and it's durable. Uh, it is comfortable too. It has a nice padding, but uh, it's not, not the type of material that's going to wear easily over time. So that's important to note when choosing any of these luggy scooters. At the back of the scooter, these are rear anti-tip wheels. These are on the scooter for added safety. So if you were to go up a steep incline, it just prevents you from tipping backwards. And like all powered mobility devices, this red lever is your freewheel lever. If you press it forward, that will put the scooter into neutral and you can push the scooter at that point. Just keep in mind that you cannot operate the scooter when it's in freewheel mode. You have to press the lever back into the drive position in order to operate the scooter. This is where your battery is located. To remove the battery, it's real simple. You just press this button, the battery comes right out and there's two ways to charge the battery. And we'll show you how to do that here in just a moment. On to the front of the scooter, there are two wheels that are up top here. Now the purpose of these wheels are if you do a semi-fold of the scooter, you can wheel the scooter behind you and you can wheel them on these wheels if you wanted to, or you can even wheel them on the two front wheels that are on the front of the scooter where you actually steer it, or you can wheel it from behind using the rear wheels or the rear anti-tip wheels as the touch points of contact on the ground. And we'll show you that here as well in just a second. Now with the tiller, this is a an adjustable tiller that adjusts in height. So there's two clamps that will telescope the tiller up or down. So if you're a taller person, this tiller can go up pretty high. Or of course, if you're a shorter person, you can adjust it down pretty low as well. Now on the tiller, this red button, this is your horn. This is your battery gauge. On the left side, this is your speed control dial. If you turn all the way to the rabbit, you can achieve your top speed of four miles per hour when you fully accelerate but you can also turn that top speed down if you were to ride around through crowds of people or maybe you're in a store shopping, you might wanna turn that top speed down. And this button is your on off switch. The throttle on this scooter is an ambidextrous throttle so you can accelerate forward or backwards with just one hand. So if you had limited mobility in one of your hands, that's not a problem, you can still operate the scooter. Now one of the great things about all of the luggies is that it's very simple to fold them. So we're gonna show you that here. Um, with the Luggy Elite, it's important to remove the armrests. Uh, you don't have to, you can fold it with the armrest on, but just to prevent damage to them, we advise to remove them first. And of course, make sure you turn off the scooter. After that, you would adjust the height of the tiller down and lock that into place to the lowest position. And once you do that, you wanna fold the tiller down to the floorboard. And to do that, there is a lever on the side which will allow you to lower it to the floorboard. You can also use that lever to adjust the tiller towards you or away from you when you're actually operating the scooter. But in this case, when you're folding it, you wanna fold that all the way down. And there's a latch that you wanna put over the bar of the tiller that will secure it into place. And this red button on the back, if you press this, that will lower the seat down. And now it's in the semi-fold position. So there's a handle on the front of the scooter. You can pick that up. You can wheel it behind you like this, 
or you can grab the handle in the back. You can wheel it behind you like this as well. Or if you wanted to flip it around, you could wheel it on the other wheels that are located on the top part of the front of the scooter. Now, if that's too big, you can fully fold the scooter so it's not in the semi-fold position. But to do that, you have to lift the seat back up. And like we mentioned earlier, there's two ways to charge the battery. So one way, keep the battery into the, in the scooter, and this is the charging port. So this is where you would plug the charger into the scooter to charge the battery. And alternatively, you can purchase a portable docking station. And with the portable docking station, you can take the battery out of the scooter, put it into the portable docking station, and you can charge that in your home, for example, and leave the scooter outside or in your garage. And once the battery is fully charged, take it off the docking station, put it back on the scooter, and you're ready to go. So there's two ways to do that. Now to fully fold the scooter, there are two locks here on the floorboard and you have to unlock both of these. And after that, you would press that same red button to lower the seat down. And by unlocking them, now you can fold the floorboard in half and now it's more of a compact size. So once you've done that, you can extend the tiller all the way up to the tallest position and you can wheel the scooter behind you like a piece of luggage. So this is another way of transporting or carrying the scooter. And to unfold from this position, it's equally as simple. The first step you would want to do is lower the tiller back down into the most compact position and lock those clamps into place. And after that, there's a little pin on the floorboard on the front half portion of the scooter. And if you pull that out, that will loosen the scooter so that you can lay it flat. Press the red button on the back to lift the seat up. You might have to put your foot on the floorboard in order to lift the seat up. After that, you would want to lock these two locks back into place so that way the floorboard stays flat. Next, you would loosen the clamp so you can pull out the tiller using the adjustable tiller lever. Lift that up and then telescope the tiller up to an appropriate driving position for you and you're ready to go. The Luggy Elite is like any of the Luggy scooters. They're great for transporting. They're easy to put in the back of a vehicle. They're all airline approved and they're really well made. So if you're looking for a folding mobility scooter, that can support a higher weight than most folding scooters, up to 320 pounds. The Luggy Elite is a great choice. It's also made by Freerider. Freerider has been around for over 30 years. We have a great relationship with them and have worked for, with them for a very long time. If you have any questions about the Luggy Elite or any of their scooters, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-682-9444 or visit us at electricwheelchairsusa.com.